Hey, good morning, Deliverance Chronicles family. I greet you in the wonderful name of Jesus. I just uh, thank you guys for the opportunity to come into your home. And I'm inviting you to pray with me. Uh, we did some very powerful videos this week. Uh, people who uh, were involved in the New Age and, you know, they have since left the New Age, but they have never really renounced and destroyed the covenants that they have uh, created or formed with the enemy. So today, we're going to pray about anyone that has ever been in any kind of uh, secret society, any form of idolatry, any form of New Age practices. We're going to pray about that. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you. We give you praise and honor and glory this morning, Lord. For your name is great in all the earth and your name is worthy to be praised. Father God, I'm asking that you will even search us, God. And make sure, Lord, that our hearts are right with you, Father God. Search us, Lord, and make sure that we have clean hands and a clean heart. Father God, I just want to thank you that we woke up this morning. I thank you for your mercy and your grace that abounds with us daily. Lord, we thank you for your long suffering, Lord, that even as I get frustrated with myself Lord you are never frustrated with us Lord I just want to thank you God that even right now that we can come before your throne of grace we don't have to make a formal appointment and Lord you did that through your son Jesus that we would always have access because he's a high priest that has no beginning and no end he is under the order of Melchizedek uh, who worshiped God most high which makes us a peculiar people and Lord, we're thankful, Lord, that we can come and say, Lord, we have sinned when we have pledged our allegiance, Lord, to organizations, Greek letter organizations, Father God, occult practices, yoga, Father God, white witchery, witchcraft, things that we uh, try to explain away as them being innocent, using uh, sage to, to uh, ward off spirits from our homes, Father God. All these other practices, Father God, that are not of you, that are... Uh, give allegiance to different deities father god some all of them you've created in some form of fashion and lord we repent lord every covenant every curse every pact every oath every agreement that we have formed with organizations father god that are deceptive and what they really want to do god is to drive us away from the one true god lord i repent for my sins my transgressions lord i repent for our iniquity father god and lord some of us right now are sick in our body and we have not attributed it father god for our allegiance our being in covenant father god with these organizations father god and these practices father god that are directing worship to other gods and lord you have a right to be upset because those deities did not create the world did not create us it was you god and father god right now according to your tender mercies lord we're asking lord that you will forgive us of our sins our transgressions and our iniquity and god that you would show us god a new way forward you will show us god that we need to repent you would show us god where the enemy has taken root in our homes you would show us god where we've made mistakes god concerning god some of the things that we need to do lord i repent lord we repent lord i'm asking lord that every curse covenant pact oath and agreement god would be broken in the name of Jesus. Father God, you will show us where we've made mistakes, Father God. You will show us where, God, we are wrong for this type of activity. Lord, I just want to thank you and give you praise and honor and glory, Lord, for everything that you're doing in our lives. Lord, I just want to thank you, God, for all the spells, curses, covenants, pacts, oaths, and agreements, Father God, that you have broken, God. that you are broken, God. And Lord, I just want to thank you and give you praise and honor and glory. Lord, for your name is truly great. Your name is great in all the earth. Father God, let everywhere there's a demon in our life, a demon working against us, a demon working against our children, a demon working against our household, our finances, our health. Father God, let it be exposed by the power of the Holy Ghost as we come against every demon that gained access, Father God, from being a Mason, from being an Eastern star, from pledging the Greek organizations, Father God, that even right now, God, you are destroying the covenants and curses, the pacts, the oaths, and the agreements 
agreements that gives the enemy access to us in these places, gives him access to our children, our homes, our posterity, uh, our economy, Father God. Show us, God, what we need to fight the enemy. Lord, expose, Lord, through the illumination of your Holy Spirit, anywhere that the enemy is active in our lives. Expose to us, Father God, where we need to repent. Expose to us, God, where we need to renounce. Expose to us, God, the problems that we've caused because of our allegiance to these entities and these organizations, Father God, that are normally masked in doing good. But Father God, I'm asking you right now, Father God, let our good not be spoken evil. Lord, align us with your word. Lord, give us allegiance to your word. Father God, I just want to thank you and give you praise and honor and glory, bless and magnify your name. Lord, for your name is great in all the earth, and Lord, you are worthy to be praised. That even right now, as we come before your throne of grace, angels from Michael rank and file, angels from Raphael's rank and file, angels from Gabriel's rank and file are being dispatched right now, God, to wage war against those that wage war against us, to wage war against those that wage war against our families, to wage war against those that wage war against our bodies. Lord, let every demonic spirit under the sound of my voice. Anywhere this video travels where these demons can hear me, hear me now and hear me well in the name of Jesus. You're going to find your exit. You're gonna come out of the chest area. You're gonna come out of the lungs in the name of Jesus. You're gonna come out of the stomach, the upper and the lower GI tract. You're gonna come out of the womb in the name of Jesus. You're gonna come out the legs. For women that are suffering with barrenness, I break that yoke of bondage. The spirit of infertility, you gotta come out in Jesus' name. The spirit of infertility, you gotta come out in Jesus' name. The spirit of infertility, you gotta come out in Jesus' name. We destroy every work of bondage in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of perversion, every spirit of lack and poverty, every spirit of homosexuality, every spirit of lesbianism, every spirit of gender dysphoria, gender confusion, everywhere, Lord, that we have dismissed your will for our lives and traded for our substandard covenant with the enemy, Lord. Let it be highlighted and let it be broken, Father God. Mental illnesses, Father God, schizophrenia, bipolar, uh, 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 and all the other illnesses or conditions described in the medical field that comes around hearing voices and different personalities we command those spirits to come out we command them to go we command them to leave god's people we command the spirits of depression spirits of anxiety in the name of jesus we command them to take flight in jesus name sadness and and, and uh these areas of our lives father god rejection we command these spirits to go i hear you god unforgiveness unforgiveness you gotta come out in jesus name unforgiveness you gotta go in Jesus name we repent we repent Lord where we have not forgiven people God and we hold them at a different standard that we would like to be held at Lord Lord I thank you right now that you're riding ships you're riding our uh, relationships you're riding households father God you're riding our relationship with you father God Lord help us to understand what you require of us clean hands and a pure heart Lord, remember every single person that is working for your kingdom. Those that are preaching and teaching the gospel. Those that are leading flocks. Those that are dealing with deliverance. Remember Brother Donovan, Father God. Let him receive every resource that he needs to do your will. Remember Dr. Zena Pierre, Father God. Everything that she needs, be it unto you, woman of God. Remember Sister Cookie Gamble, Father God. Allow her music to be on the front lines of worship all across the country. Let it be so now in Jesus' name. Lord, remember Latanya Riggs, Father God. Let that prophetic gift be exposed, Father God. The wisdom that she has, Father God, let it be exposed, Father God. Remember Tamu, Father God, uh, that she has the spirit of an intercessor, Father God. Continue to give her new strategies of prayer. Father God, remember Maddie Wilson, Father God, the prophet of God most high. Continue to show her things to come. Remember Sister Jen Ashley, Father God, continue to pour your spirit out on her. Uh, Dehema McLean, Father God, anoint her afresh, new revelation, new understanding. Lincoln Plowman, Father God, Romero Cox, Simone Lennon, God, I call them all by name, Father God, our families and friends, my sister, my brother, my niece and my nephew, my mom, all of our family members, God, continue to work in their lives, God, continue to work in their lives.
names, God, Lord, I pray I'm not forgetting anybody. Uh, Jacqueline, uh, Luna Da Silva, Father God, continue to open up the truth to her concerning finances and resources. Lord, let her be an ambassador, Lord, for those who have been in new age, Father God. Allow her, Father God, to be your ambassador to speak the truth. Allow these videos on YouTube to go viral, Father God, that people will no longer uh, be deceived. Remember Nadisha, Father God. Remember Juliet, Father God. Remember uh, all the people on, on Clubhouse and these Clubhouse sessions, Father God, that are seeking healing and deliverance, Father God, are seeking understanding and revelation, Father God. Open up their understanding, the eyes of their understanding, God, for them to know that you are God. For them to know that there is none like you. For them to know that you are God most high, the possessor of heaven and earth, and great is your name. And Lord, that no matter what they're going through, all things work for the good. Remember Andrew Baldwin, Father God, continue to give him wisdom and revelation and understanding concerning the things that you will have us to discuss, the things that you will have us to pray for. Lord, remember Deliverance Chronicles and all the people that hear your word and hear your name. Shout it out across the platforms that they are on, Father God. Bless them, bless their resources. Bless the founder, bless those who are helps. Bless those who are in the administration, Father God. Remember um, Shanine Money, God. Remember the young lady. I love her spirit. Lord, you know I love her like my own. And Lord, I desire for every person that I named today that the things that I want for me, Lord, I'm asking that you will allow it to be unto them. Lord, I want my people, Lord. I want my crew. I want the people that I serve with. The people, Father God, that we are in uh, 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 servanthood under your banner, God, to lift your people up, Lord. I'm asking that they have no lack in every area of lives, relationships, people that are single. I want to say, Lord, thank you for healing Grandma Lily, God. Thank you, Lord, for working it out for Nicole and Jazz and Charles, Lord. Bless Charles, bless Nicole, bless Jazz, God. Bless these people, Lord, according to your unlimited finances and resources, Father God. Lord, I'm asking right now that you will pull people together in unity, Lord, to work on your kingdom, God, and that they will have no lack. They will lack nothing, that everything that they need to advance the kingdom of God will be provided for them. Lord, for those of them who need homes, Father God, and we're not talking about homes with mortgages or homes with approvals, Lord. We're asking for homes that are free and clear. And for those who have mortgages, Lord, that they will have the opportunity to live in a house that all they have to do is pay the taxes, Father God. Cars, Father God, transportation, anything that builds your kingdom, Lord, let it be unto them. Let them receive it. And Lord, also the desires of their hearts, those that want to get married, those that want to be in lovely, uh, loving, godly relationships under the confines of the kingdom, Lord, for those who you have called to be together for your purpose. Let it be so now in Jesus' name. Father God, unite children with their mothers and their fathers. Lord, bless these children. Bless those that honor their parents. Father God, teach them how to honor their parents. Lord, I'm guilty of that sometimes. And Lord, I'm asking that you will forgive me as well. Remember my mom, Junie Richards. I would not be here if it wasn't for her. And everybody would ask me, Lord, you know, Wayne, how do you where did you learn to pray? It's listening to my mother pray. When my mother was going through the things that she was going through, me as a child, listening to my mother cry out to God and seeing God always move in some kind of way to fill a gap, to fill a need, Lord. And I thank you for that, Lord, that some of the experiences that I went through, Lord, I didn't understand. Lord, even bless my ex-wife, God. Because if it wasn't for her leaving, I don't know how this thing broke down or how it got to where it needs to be. But God, it showed me you. It showed me a new aspect of who you are. Lord, even remember Nikki, God, in all of the dysfunction and confusion that she's involved in, God. Lord, show her you, God. Let her see you, Lord. Let her see herself. Lord, allow us to take introspective looks at ourselves and to know that sometimes the problem is not the other person. It's us. And Lord, I repent for when I was the problem. I repent, Lord, for my attitudes. Lord, allow us to see that we are the problem sometimes. And Father God, on this lovely Saturday afternoon, Father God, I, I pray peace over the lives of your people, God. Let them be able to spend a loving day with family and friends, God. Allow them, Father God, to experience your fullness, your grace. Allow us to be gracious, God, to those that need grace. Allow us to be merciful and empathetic, Lord. And Lord, I just want to thank you for hearing me. 
I just want to say this to you. God is uh, able to do exceedingly, abundantly more than we can ask, that we can ever decide, more than we can do in the name of Jesus. He can do according to that spirit that is in us. Father God, your people need to understand who you are. Lord, we're asking for the manifested presence the manifested presence of your miracle working ability in their lives, God. And Lord, I just want to thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord, for answering our prayer this morning. I just want to thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, God, for doing these things, Father God, that bring glory and honor to your name. I just want to thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord, for making sure that we have no lack. We need to trust God for the things that we're saying that we're believing him for. We need to really stand on the promises of God. We really need to believe that these things are able to be achieved and accomplished simply because God is doing it. And I just want to encourage you today that you need to start praying and asking God for what humans cannot do. Be audacious in believing and trusting God that he's able to do these things. His hands are not too short that he cannot fight your battle, but he needs you. The avenue, the street, the road, the gate by which we achieve and receive from God is faith. So I encourage you to share this message, like, follow us on all our platforms. Uh, and if you know somebody that needs intercession, send them this message. Not because I'm praying, but because of the one that is answering. And I know that he's answered because he's answered for me. And I just want to say to y'all today, God bless y'all. Have a wonderful day. Keep fighting because if you're not fighting, you've already lost. God bless you. Go to YouTube, Deliverance Chronicles TV, and check out the videos that we're posting in a different playlist. I guarantee that they will be a blessing to you. And share it to your friends and family so they would know about that there are people praying for them. There are people hoping. There are people giving edification, understanding, revelation for the things that they're struggling with that are not being taught in the church. And I just want to say God bless you all. And have a wonderful Saturday afternoon.